doing today. I hope all is well with everyone. And let me wish you all a very happy new year. Yay! 2021 is here. Oh my goodness, I've never been so glad to, to say goodbye to a year in my life. My mom always told me, never wish your life away, Arlen, when I would say, oh, I can't wait for this or I can't wait for that. And she used to say, Arlen, don't wish your life away. You don't know what tomorrow is gonna bring, you know? And I said, I always said to her, yeah, I know, mom, I know, but I'm really looking forward to it. She's, now, now, you know. But I was wishing for 2021, let me tell you. I was ready to say hello to 2021. Oh my goodness, hopefully, Lord willing, it will be a better year than 2020 has been, huh? But anyway, I'm coming to you today with a haul. I spent my Christmas money, burned a hole in my pocket, spent my Christmas money. I have some new things to show you here. We're, st we're still within the blue and white cottage feel, but I am gonna be doing a couple of new things and showing you some new things. I've got a gift to show you and a card to show you. And, and then I have questions. I have, I think, eight questions, and we'll see how, how far I can get into the questions. I don't want to be this to be a super, super, super duper long video because I do want to walk you around this house because it is deconstructed, you guys, all except for two things. One is the staircase. It's still constructed, and the blue and white tree. Chris and I worked all day long yesterday all day from morning till after dark and we just could not continue on getting these couple of things done and today which is new year's day we are tired we're just tuckered out so uh, those things are going to stay there chris is down in the basement right now he may be stacking some bends I, although i don't hear anything moving around down there so he might just be down there working in a shop or something so uh, but anyway, I will walk you around and show you this house. For those of you who've just joined me, you may be interested to see the house without any decor in it. It is devoid of decor. Chris said this is a good way to, for a good time for me to show you how we do our garland on the mantle. You know, and I just want to walk you around and show you the house. I mean, it is almost echoey in here. If you can believe that, that's Chris came upstairs yesterday. He says, oh, we're echoing now again. He said, hurry up, get redecorated. I looked at him. He said, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Although he loves, he like he loves to watch the process and he loves the finished product. He's, he's my, uh, other than my kids and my family, of course, he's my strongest supporter and biggest cheerleader. I'm telling you, you guys, he really is. So... Let's start out the new year with a tear in our eye, huh? <laughs> okay, dokie, so let's start out with a haul. How about that, with the haul part of this video? <laughs> uh, let's see, I have a haul from Hobby Lobby, uh, Amazon, and at home. I spent my Christmas It's money. not like one big thing. It's like parts and pieces that I want to put together to make, you know, things look a little different in here. Trust me, it's not gonna be terribly different. Let's start out with Amazon. Uh, you can see my cobalt blue uh, pitcher and glasses that I showed the other day in my last video. And I wanted a tray that I could put those in. So I found a tray on Amazon. Now y'all, I've had better quality Amazon things and worse quality Amazon things. This one kind of sits in the middle somewhere, you know? 
it is a beautiful tray. It looks like planks of wood. It is a beautiful tray, but it's not heavy. It's not heavy like you might think it might be. It also has, uh, you know, metal kind of oil rub bronze handles and a little bit of work on the bottom, which I love. I love that because of all the oil rub bronze we have in the house. So I, I really wanted something with a little metal on it and it's kind of brushed, whitewashed looking, which I think will be really pretty with what I'm gonna do with it. But if I'm on, this thing was, I'll flash up there, but I think it was like 30 some dollars. And I thought, you know, if I was gonna buy this at Hobby Lobby and pay half price for it, I would buy it in a heartbeat. But to buy it for full price at $35 like this, I'm not sure that I wanna recommend this to you guys. You can try it if you want to. You could always send it back easily to Amazon. And it is lovely. It's a lovely tray. I mean, it really is. Uh, but you know what? I don't have my glasses over here, but that's who it's made by. Box Boywood Brothers. Boywood Brothers, I think that's what it says. But anyway, so that's what I'm going to put the pitcher and maybe a glass or two or all glasses. I don't know. I don't think I'll have room, but the pitcher with a bit of a floral in the pitcher and uh, my three tiered plate tray kind of thing that I've got coming. So it will work well with that, you know, on a runner up there on my island flanked by two candlesticks with birds on it probably. Uh, but it could have been better quality. I'll just say that. I'm just being honest with you. I'm being real with you. You know, I always am. So it's pretty though. It's very pretty to look at and it'll be beautiful once it's made up. I know it will be. Well, I'm saying that my stuff is going to be beautiful, but it will make a pretty base for a nice tray, you know, arrangement. So anyway, I also purchased some hydrangeas in blue and in white. Now these are very nice. I really like these and these came with the stems. And what you do is you put the stem on the flower yourself. But look how pretty and vibrant that is. That's just beautiful, I think, in the cobalt blue. And you just simply just attach the stem just like that. So I got, I don't remember how many are in each bag, but I got blue and I got white. So, and that's what I'm gonna be using probably in that picture over there. So that was all I got from Amazon, in that order. <laughs> We've always got something coming from Amazon, I'm telling you. When, once we became Amazon Prime members, you don't ever have to pay shipping. Of course, they, you know when they charge you, or they charged us anyway, I don't know whether that's for everybody, but when they charge you your Amazon on Prime, you know, when they charge you every year, Christmas Day, that's when we got our charge, on Christmas Day. <laughs> Christmas, Merry Christmas to us. I said, yeah, no kidding. But it's worth it. We pay, the, you know, it's well worth it to have the Amazon Prime. What was that flying through the air? Did you guys see that? Zoom. Anyway, it's probably all the dust bunnies around here. Okay, let's go on into Hobby Lobby. How about that? Blueberries are some of my favorite things to work with in my blue and white cottage decor. And I get a lot of really pretty frosted like blueberries from uh, Amazon that I really like. So check my Amazon shop out if you like frosted blueberries. They're, they're lovely. They are lovely. Uh, but I did pick up some blueberries from Hobby Lobby. These were $10.99 a bush. Well, uh, they were half off. They were half off this week. So I bought three bunches of blueberries because I really needed some more. And I pick at this. It's not like I'm going to put this whoop, one big blueberry bushel in somewhere. I cut from these and I like I'll lay them on a tray or I'll lay them on a shelf or I'll bundle them with something else. I mean, these go very far. These bundles will get me, th excuse me, through the year probably with all the decor I'll be doing. But aren't they pretty? I love them. Such a vibrant color. So I got three bundles of blueberries. And of course, my, one of my staple greeneries, this is one of, I mean, for all year, starting in January, I'm gonna start using this, uh, is ivy. I love ivy. Now, 
my mom used to grow ivy in our backyard and it used to be prolific. I am telling you, she'd have to go cut it down in like the fall or whatever. Uh, but it was beautiful. It wasn't this color. Ours was, it was a very deep green ivy. This is a lighter color than what ours was in real life. And ours were bigger. This is like English ivy, I think. That wasn't. But anyway, I got six tufts of this, $9.99, but they were, uh, you know, half off. So, but I did get some because I use ivy a lot. And I'm going to be pulling out a lot of ivy. I put away a lot of ivy, you know, but I, I know I need, I can use extra all the time. So I just stocked up on my ivy. Then I found this little tray. This was not on sale. It's the only thing I bought that was not on sale and I used my 40% off coupon on. And I just, but I just thought it was really pretty. Home sweet home. And I think I'm gonna set it up in this, up in the uh, hutch on one of the shelves, just stand it up in there. It's kind of short enough where I can do that. And this was $30, but I used my 40% off discount. I don't know why. It was so, uh, look at that, it's kind of a basket weavy kind, kind of thing in the back there, it's pretty. So home sweet home. So I got that. And I wanted something, uh, sorry for the rustling of the bag. I was looking for something in black and white for up on top of my cabinets. I had, I'm trying to lighten the palette up a little bit or switch it up up there a little bit because honestly, when we first moved in here, other than the lanterns that are up there, everything else was very old and very used, very well used accent pieces. Uh, Longenberger baskets are up there. They never go out of style. Uh, and my Dickens houses are up there. But some other stuff I had, I wasn't too thrilled with. So I wanted to get something. I don't know whether we're going to be able to get this to fit. We'll see. But my intention is to put this up on this side of my cabinets. This is beside my, my refrigerator over there. Kind of like in the crook of that corner right there. Kind of spanning that corner. We'll see if Chris can get it to work. Uh, but I got this. Meals and memories are made here. Now, if this won't work up there, I could maybe put it, I have the word believe up here on the top of my hutch, which is, I really love it. It is in white. So I'm hoping we can get this to work, but we could put it up here on the hutch for a change, you know, or we could hang it on a wall or whatever. We can find a place to put it. But I really like this. This was in the spring shop, which is already 50% off in at Hobby Lobby, and it was $25, $24.99. So meals and memories are made here. I have not seen this particular sign. So this is a different one for me, and I really like it. I like the font on it. I like that it's black with the white writing. I think it's stunning. I really like this one. So hopefully we can get it to work up there because that's where I really want to put it, is up there on those tops of those cabinets. We'll see. Then I got this and I wasn't planning on getting this or I wasn't looking for this and I'm not sure where this will end up in my decor. I think over by my hearth some way, whether it's leaning up in the window or whether it'll be on the hearth or on the floor. I'm not sure where it's going to go, but I think this forever thankful, always grateful, abundantly blessed in the blue and white. Look at that. I might need to get back, huh? Tell you what, I need to get my glasses. So I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna stand back and show you this, cause this is stunning. Isn't that pretty? I love this. And as I say, this one, I want, I want this to take some kind of center stage over by the, the uh, hearth and the fireplace. Okay, Nick, sorry about that. Uh, what I was fixing to say is I always feel like my mantle and my hearth set the tone for the rest of the decor of the house. I always feel like that is, it is a big focal point in this room. Not only can you see it here from when you come in from the garage and you look all the way through as you would remember with my home tour, but also when you walk in the front door, that's one of the first, you can look straight through into the family room and see the fireplace. So I really try very hard to 
decorate the mantel and the hearth and that area of the house the way in which I want the house to look throughout. I have really worked hard this last year on decorating into this blue and white cottage decor and making it feel the same, only different, if you will, in, different, in the whole main level of the house. And y'all are gonna come along with me and you'll see me how I bring this hopefully to life again. And it's a calm and pretty and subtle and not over the top and in your face. It's classic. Again, I'm kind of going back to for that classic look, not over the top, but yet full of decor. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be full of decor. You know me, uh, but softer in feel and in design. So hopefully you guys will stick with me as we work our way. It's going to take us a long time. Chris, he was walking around here again this morning because, yeah, this is going to take you a while to redecorate. I said, I told you, honey, I don't think he realized how much we switch out for Christmas. I told him and I said to you guys, I feel like I'm moving. When I was putting away all of my blue and white stuff, I, because I did it in dribs and drabs last year, I put away so much to bring out Christmas. And Christmas was every, every vignette and every hutch and every tabletop was changed out to Christmas, even wall hangings and stuff, you know, so it's pretty crazy, pretty crazy around here, let me tell you. Okay, let me finish my shopping haul here. I went, we stopped by uh, at home. We stopped by at home today and I actually went in looking for a more substantial tray, but I'm gonna make this one work. I was gonna send that one back, but I decided I'm gonna keep it uh, because I think it'll be pretty when it's made up. So let me unwrap here a little bit. Just think birds, y'all. Just think birds. You know, I love birds. Well, I got me some birds. <laughs> and I use these everywhere in my decor. And I love these birds on pedestals. Look at these. Aren't they cute? Oh, my goodness. They are looking the same. I thought there might have been ones that may have been looking different ways, but maybe there weren't. These were, and you don't have a lot on clearance and at, at home. So these were $14.99 and I paid. They're heavy. They're nice. They're very nicely made. They're maybe resin or maybe wood. I can't tell. I think they might be wood. But look how cute. I love them. I got two of those and I got a shorter one with his wings tucked by his side. Look at his sweet little face. Got one like this and it was $12.99. And I got one like this sitting on a little pedestal. Cute, huh? And it was $5.99. And I was looking for, I was looking for smaller blue and white little decor items, you know, like little blue and white birds, little, oh, I didn't know what I was looking for. So, because I want something for that tray that I'm getting, the three-tier tray. Now, this very well might be too big for that, but this may sit in the tray next to, it may sit in the tray with this decor. But I got this, I thought this was pretty. Live life in full bloom. So I thought that was super pretty with the blue and white. They didn't have a lot of blue and white in there yet. They had vases on the top. I'm gonna have to take another trip in there because they had some stuff on a top shelf and they didn't have a lot of like employees working in there today. So I thought, well, I'm not gonna ask today, so I'll wait. Plus, I was pretty busy. Everything was busy around. Yesterday was terrible around here. Goodness gracious, traffic was awful. All restaurants were packed as as full as they could be. You know, it was crazy yesterday. So, anyway, let's go into, I wanna show you the card I got, and I wanna show you a gift I got. So, I had a message out to Ryan Anderson and I have not heard back from him. So I might come back and show you some pictures that he sent with this Christmas card at a later time. Uh, 
but I'm not going to show them without his permission, you know, but he and his family, his wife and little Kinsey, their daughter, sent me this beautiful Christmas card and it is full of scriptures, you guys just full, I'm not gonna show you what they wrote, but full of scriptures, beautiful, beautiful scriptures that I love and will cherish. And I'm gonna keep right here in my desk so I can refer to it every now and again, because it's very, uh, very uplifting. Their words were very sweet. Uh, just, I, I just love it, I just love it. So, it was a beautiful car. So thank you, Ryan and family. I don't want to say hi, Kinsey. I wanted to say hi, Kinsey. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you, sweetie. Love you, sweetie. Thank you for the Christmas card. Love you so much, honey. To your parents, too. Love you guys, too. But you know, Kinsey, she has a special place in my heart. So thank you guys so much. Okay, I wanted to show you this, but uh, and uh, I'll wait until I hear from him about the pictures. And maybe the next video, I'll show you the pictures. So... Then, oh my goodness, I have a very special gift to show you here. This is from Amanda Thrasher, who knows me like a book. I'm telling you, knows my decor like a book. And she sent me three beautiful pieces, two of which are these milk glass candle holders. Look at these. Aren't they pretty? Why couldn't you put a candle in there and then little pipberry garland or something or a little lamb's ear garland or something in there? Wouldn't that be pretty? So aren't they lovely? So I love them and I will find, you know me and my milk glass, I love it. They, I already have one, two, two sets of milk glass candlesticks up on my, uh, up on my hutch here, but maybe I'll add a third. <laughs> And have we'll have a set on each on each shelf eh you know I think that'll work I think I will actually now that I gave myself that idea so they will go over there maybe I don't know I don't know I'm excited about decorating again you know and then this brought me to tears you guys this is such a special piece I can't even believe that she had this and gifted it to me you guys this is so special Check out this beautiful, I wanna call it a bud vase, uh, but it also could be used as a, as a kind of a pitcher. But look at this. Is this not beautiful? It is, I believe it's Fenton. Yes, Fenton art. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at that, excuse my yucky nails. I still haven't done them. I'm working hard around here but check it out and look at the top. It's like a little heart. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. It's shaped as a, in a heart. I love it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I know where I'm gonna put this. It is gonna go in a tray, another tray arrangement, but this one is gonna go on my uh, credenza. This is going to be where I can see it all the time when we're in, where I'm sitting in there doing my editing and watching TV and whatever. It's going to be sitting right in there, center stage, beautifully, dis hopefully beautifully displayed, Lord willing. <laughs> but isn't that beautiful? I love it. Thank you so much, Amanda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love it. And we'll cherish this. Oh my goodness. Uh, so I, she blew me away. Ryan and his family blew me away. And you all blow me away on a daily basis. Uh, I've had a lot of you join my Facebook group. Thank you so much for joining. If any of you would like to join, you're welcome to come. And please be patient with me. I approve everybody who comes in. If I don't recognize you, I probably won't approve you. And you may need to get in touch with me in some way and say, Hey, Arlen, my Facebook name is this. And, uh, you know, you would be surprised. I surprised myself, actually. I recognize you all. I recognize your names, you know, because I do read all the comments and heart you. And, you know, I do try to really concentrate when I do read. I try to take your stories to heart. I pray for those who ask, honest to goodness. I pray for you all as a group. You know that. And uh, so I recognize you. I recognize your name. But do be patient with me because I don't get in there but maybe a couple of times a day sometimes, especially when I'm busy the way I've been busy. So uh, also, too, I approve most posts unless I get to know you and I know your posts are 
fine, which I'm sure all of yours are, but we've had a one-off co color thing happened. And I unfortunately had to let that person go. So, you know, but there's no negativity in there. I promise you, I don't allow it. Won't put up with it. Don't. But anyway, so just know it's a safe and kind place, you guys. It's a safe and kind place. My necklace is keeps... I've got an extension on it. I don't need it on this, but I just was too lazy to take the extension off. So it's like weighted or something and pulling around. Chris got me this and the earrings to match years ago. Little hearts. Anyway, all right. Let's go into some questions. I could just sit here and ramble with you. I'm telling you. Let's, let me answer some questions that, oh, I don't know. I don't need these because I blew them up. Because I know you have some. Okie dokie. Number one is from Rhonda Kapler. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, Rhonda. <laughs> Take care. Do you and your family ever go golfing with your dad? No. <laughs> Chris has before. He definitely has before and can. I actually took golf lessons with my mom and probably could, but I haven't played in years. So we don't, we, we usually go up to visit after he's done playing his round. You know, he goes really early in the morning when nobody else is on the course usually. And he has the course all to himself. Sometimes he takes another fellow with him. But my dad really enjoys getting out onto the course, breathing in the fresh air, getting his exercise, walking from, from, uh, you know, hole to hole, sits down in the middle of his, however many holes he plays. He's, there's a, a set of steps there that he sits on and, um, you know, takes a break and has a Gatorade and, you know, sits there and, and gets, you know, make sure that he's nice and hydrated, especially in the summertime. And, uh, so that's his time, you know, I, although I think he'd love it if we wanted to come out and play with him. I don't have clubs, neither does Chris anymore. <laughs> so that might help. But no, we don't. He's so good too, you guys. I mean, he is so good. I think my, my mom's brother came in from playing with him one time when we were up at my grandmother's. And he said, well, all in, he's, country, he's Southern. He says, now all in? He said, guess what? I said, what? And he goes, your dad put on a clinic out there on that golf course. I said, he did. He said, he is so good. He is so good. I said, I know he is. I know he is. He's just a good man. He's a good man all over the place, you guys. I really, well, you've seen him, but you know, oh my goodness. I just wish you could meet him in person. Okay. So, but to answer your question, Rhonda, no. <laughs> okay. Number two, Redeemed by Grace. Arlen, this was a great podcast. Thank you for sharing uh, your after Christmas with all of us. Hey, will you and Chris be getting a puppy anytime soon? My husband and I got a new grand puppy on Thanksgiving Day 2020. I consider the little man one of my Christmas presents. Our son brought his family a French bulldog puppy named, and they named him Diesel. <laughs> we haven't had a dog in our home since our golden retrieval, Bo, passed away years ago. Diesel already fills the void in my heart, and best part is they live in our neighborhood. Anyways, I was just wondering if you will be getting a puppy anytime soon. Patty, sending you and Chris blessings from Colorado. Well, blessings right back to you, Miss Patty. And no, unfortunately, we won't be getting a puppy anytime soon. That's not to say we won't ever have a puppy again. I feel sure we probably will one of these years, but for now, Lord willing, if we're able to get back to travel, we want to do some traveling while we're of an age where we still can. And, uh, and I'm talking about extensive, some extensive travel, not just, you know, here locally. But uh, we, I hate to leave a dog and I don't like to board them. And, you know, our daughter is always very sweet. and comes over and house sits and dog sits. But we put that burden on her for many, many, many a year. And I'm, I'm just not, we're not willing to do it anymore. She works so hard, especially in 2020. She's a teacher. So right now we're going to be without dogs. As you all know, I've had dogs for the last however long I've been married. It was safe for the first year we were married. We had one, most most time we had one, and most times two, sometimes three, and sometimes so four. I am a huge time. dog lover. I there is a huge big fat hole in this house without them, but 
this is our decision for right now. So not right now. But thank you for the question. Okay, number three from Julie Monroe. Hey, Julie. That kimono is just beautiful. Thank you. And that Jim Shore Santa is such a handsome gift. He is gorgeous. You have helped Bobby tremendously. You shout her out all the time, and she probably has sold hundreds and hundreds of rolls of her beautiful ribbon because of you. I hope so. <laughs> Sounds like y'all had an amazing Christmas. That cobalt set will be super pretty. She's talking about the one on the island. Can't wait to see what you have up your sleeve. I'm so happy you got a nice long sleep. You must have needed it. I must have that night, I'm telling you. I was out. Um, we took our Christmas decor down the day after Christmas, and I have been adding a few winter touches. Everyone loves your cooking videos so much. Would you consider making one cooking video a month in the new year with a new recipe? That would challenge you and be fun. <laughs> It would challenge me, and it, it, I'm not sure how much fun it would be, though, Julie, <laughs> to be honest with you. I'm, you know, I love to cook. I don't mind cooking, uh, but I've, I've been cooking for so many years, honey. I've, I've, got, I've got a good, what, 15 years on you, <laughs> probably, I'm thinking, uh, that I, I, I'm, it's not something that I strive to do that much. I, I don't mind it. Uh, but I, but I cook to live. I don't live to cook, if that makes sense. <laughs> I just came up with that. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Uh, but if I come up with a new recipe or think of something, I sure will bring it to you, you know. And for those of you wondering, I do have a lot of, of cooking videos on my channel. You just have to search, you know, do a little search for them. And I have several playlists. One, I have one playlist with Stacy, my cousin, and I. Uh, doing some of our favorites. So check that one out. That one's cute. But anyway, so my computer just went off. Sorry. There we go. So I'm not sure that I'll, that I'll do that, Julie, but I'll, you know, I always bring you when I, uh, you know, if I get something new and I, and I feel like y'all would like it, I'll definitely bring it to you. <laughs> okay. Number four, Miss Terry Watson. Good morning, Arlen. Beautiful Christmas. It looks like you had. So today I have two questions. Can you share the significance of the fairy that took that Chris took off the tree? And two, can you share where you got your tree skirt? It looks as though it was monogrammed. Have a remarkable day. I think I'd answered this question in, in person as far as the fairy. It, it's not a big story. It's really not. It's just that, that Chris loves fairies. He, he really uh, has always had an affinity for them for our entire marriage and uh, he always said when he got that fairy, he says, from now on, this fairy will be the first to go on the tree, sorry, and the last to come off. And he said, it's, she'll bring us luck, you know. It's not, we're not superstitious people or anything like that. It's just something we do. It's a nice little thing, you know. It's a nice little touch, uh, you know, something special. Uh, and can I share where I got the tree skirt? I believe... I got that tree skirt from Hobby Lobby, but it's been a couple of years. So, but I believe that's where I got it, or Michael's. Might have been Michael's. And it just says Merry Christmas on it. And it was, it was, I, I believe it's, we put it away. <laughs> I believe it's embroidered, I believe, on there. So Merry Christmas. It is a pretty one though. It's kind of velvety. It is, it is a pretty one. Um, but it wasn't like super expensive or anything, Terry. So you know, keep your eye out next year or maybe after Christmas even. I don't even know what's left in the stores. So, uh, but do keep your eye out. And but I'm sorry, I have a little hair in my eye or something. I am so sorry. It's probably these bangs that are getting a little long. Sorry. Uh, but do check back in the stores and, you know, maybe they might have something. I, I believe it was Hobby Lobby, but it could have been Michael's. Okay, number five from Amanda Childers. Love the three-tiered tray, gorgeous. I know you are blessed and love your life as you should. You are beautiful inside and out. Well, thank you. I do have a question. At this time of your life, is there anything that you haven't done yet or would want to do? I think we are like in our lives being fulfilled and blessed, but if you could have one last thing. You know what, you know what I would want it's not anything for myself. It's not anything for me. I've got everything I could ever, ever want or need or whatever. I've, I'm, I am blessed in that way, you know, and my YouTube channel has been a gift. It's been a gift to me, you guys. Uh, who would have ever thought kind of later, if you will, later in life, 
you know, me starting out in my 50s, you know, on a YouTube channel and it, it doing, you know, pretty well for itself, you know, and that I am so blessed and I'm blessed with our home. I'm blessed with my family first. Uh, all of that, all of that, I'm blessed. Uh, but I would wish for good health for my family and especially little Maverick. I think that would be my most fervent wish is that he keeps good health, that he's able to thrive, that he's able to grow, that he's able to find good friends and have good people in his life who will lead him and shape and, and help to shape and mold him like his mom and daddy already are doing. I hope he has good teachers. I hope he finds that one coach or teacher who will nurture whatever talents he may have. And I believe he's going to have talents, you know. But that's my wish. That's what I would wish for him to have. And, for you know, for my girls to live long lives, of course, and to be healthy and not have any problems. But but more for, for little Mav, you know, to to have a life that is not hard, you know? That's what I would wish for. Okay, uh, let's see. I don't even know how long this video is. I've got three more questions. But I think I'm gonna save these. I think I'm gonna save these because I think that's a good question to end on, huh? Okay, let me put a line here and let me just tell you, my next three questions are from Denise Jones, Paulette Vale, and uh, Charlene Stevenson. So I will save you three ladies for my next video, I promise you, and you know I will answer. If anybody else has any other questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. So let me shut this down and I'm going to start taking you around this house. Uh, first thing I want to do is go around and turn on some lights because it's really dark and dreary and dingy and rainy today here on this New Year's Day. So let me go around and turn some lights on and then I'll take you around and show you my empty house. But show you, you know, the shell and, and pretty much what what I work with, what I start out with. So let me go into my okay. final words here and say uh, I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye, but stick around, and I'll show you around the rest of the house. All right? All right. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, you guys. Here I am back in the very back corner of my kitchen. But what you hear is our Roomba. It is doing a little jig right now. I'll tell you, this little thing has been a godsend. I cannot tell you the years that I pulled out vacuums and tripped over the wires and had one sitting in the middle of the room when I was, you know, deconstructing. But anyway, so very grateful for that. Chris said the other day, this was one of our Christmas presents too. And I really will say that along with my phone. So anyway, uh, as you can see, things are very much cleared off. Look at the tops of the cabinets. My curtains are down. Tops of the cabinets, except for the, you know, the staple pieces of my lanterns and whatnots are up there. So that needs to be taken down yet. Shelf is cleared off. That lantern is going to go away for now. As you know, this glass broke. And Stacy's going to make me a new sticker for it and a sticker for my next lantern that I'm going to put there that you guys saw before Christmas. But anyway, all my window decor is down and you can see what a yucky day it is out. 
But we're brightening it up, huh? With happy attitudes and sweet words. <laughs> so let's walk on over here. And that's where I was just sitting at the kitchen table there. And that's all the stuff I just hauled for you and my tea and my computer <laughs> and all of that. There's the Roomba, sorry for the sound. Uh, but there's the top of the desk completely cleared off. That little cubby is completely cleared out. There's the corner cabinet. Uh, those two big candles were up on the mantel. They go down in the door, behind the door there. This is the coat closet. This, we don't want the Roomba in these rooms. But here's the powder room real quick. I have not dusted yet, y'all. Pardon any dust that you might see, but things off of the wall, you can see the empty, move slow, empty shelf here, and empty wall. So, everything's empty. Everything's taken down. Only thing left on my hutch is the milk glass and my nativity. These, these two things might stay here for the winter month, this little family and the nativity. I think I'll leave them here. But all the florals cleaned out of the back of the truck. Everything. That lamp and candles stay up there as does the Believe and the pictures up on top there. But everything will get redecorated, cleaned off this little cozy corner. And you can see that the staircase is still decorated. <laughs> that wreath is still up and Santa is still up. So you can tell I can't get to those things. So Chris will be bringing a ladder up. He hasn't done it yet. This little top hat is gone. I love this. I'm going to leave this here. I decided I'm going to leave this here just as is. We live in the woods. Why can't I have some, you know, something like that? Why not? I'm going to leave it like that. We'll decorate it throughout the year, huh? I don't care. My pillow covers are gone. Oh, it's so depressing. And, uh, you know, all of my, oh, here's my curtains that will go up back up in the kitchen. Have them laying here. And then I had gotten these a long time ago, but these are the placemats I'm going to use for doilies on all my tables out here, my three tables. So they are reversible even. I got those, I think, from Amazon a long time ago. I think they're linked in my Amazon shop, though. Hearth is, you know, not much there, just my staple pieces. As you all know, I have things that I call staple pieces. I started doing this many, many years ago, and I explained it in a blog many, many years ago about how I like to decorate and redecorate using the same staple pieces. That crock, the ladder in the crock, the pit berries around it, this little ladder, the pit berry tree, which is all smushed back in there. Just, you know, the things you see left out in my decor are what I call my staple pieces. So, uh, Chris said I should show you the mantle. I have not dusted up here, so please excuse any dust. These will go into lanterns that will go back up here. But here you can see, excuse the dust, you guys. Oh, I'm so sorry. The command strip hook that we have, and then Chris has made taken a coat hanger and has brought it out to the edge and made a hook. And that's how we hook our garlands and make it look like they're sitting on the front of the mantle instead of sitting up necessarily. They're sitting on front. They hang from the front and that's how we do it. Usually leave these three up because I have like a patriotic swag, you know, that hangs there when I put my patriotic stuff up. Excuse the dust, as I said, excuse the dust. We've got the, my uh, cozy corner ladder sitting in the bedroom because we really wanted the Roomba to get, you know, all the floors clean. That's a big long hamburger basket that I will cover with a, a tablecloth and it will sit beside 
the ladder, which will be right here in this corner. And here is the front of the house. Of course, our tree is still up, <laughs> the blue and white tree. And we still have a few gifts to give to family there uh, that we weren't able to see yet, but we will. And the pillow covers are off of there. Look at my poor secretary. <laughs> it's naked. Oh my goodness. Except for what's in it, of course. But, uh, everything is like a clean slate, you know, pretty much. So can y'all believe it? I bet you those of just who have just joined me have never seen my house like this. <laughs> and it's not often I see my own house like this. So yeah, there we are. And on around to this part of the house again. But have no fear. I'm sure well, the next thing I'm going to do is clean. I'm going to dust and, I mean, the Roomba is taking care of the floors, but I'm really going to dust everything, clean everything off, and then get my blue and white bins up here and start redecorating. And I go through this house very methodically, and I decorate very methodically, you guys. So we'll start probably on the mantel and the hearth and then the credenza and we'll work our way around just like we did with the Christmas. So that is that. Next video though will probably be Q&A and uh, whatever else I get from Amazon and Torrid when that comes. So I think I'm going to take one or two days off here uh, so that I can prepare this house and uh, then we'll get to going with that video and then some decorating videos and I will start putting them up as I finish the decor and we'll move around here and we'll get this house redecorated together y'all all right again let me walk in here because this Roomba is just rumbling along in our ears sorry about that let's go out here and we'll sit here and look at this little tree. And while I, I'm not looking at you here, but I did want to take a moment. Maybe I can turn this around. I don't even know whether I'm close, you guys. Hopefully I am. But uh, thank you guys so much for 2020, for all that you did for me in 2020, for every kind word, for every kind comment, for every, 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 everything that you guys have given me. You are the sweetest, most generous people on this planet. And I thank you a million times over. I thank you. So again, happy new year. <laughs> and with all that said, I will just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye now.